I've tried my fair share of retinol products dealing with my cystic acne as well as moving into my late 20s, preparing my skin to age well. In today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the hottest retinol products on the market right now, my review on them, and who I believe they are for. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha, and on this channel, I post a lot of skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle related videos. If that is something you're interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. Follow me on my other socials for content you're not going to see here. And without further ado, let's get started. So what is retinol? I have a number of videos on my channel explaining what retinol is and my experience with it. If you guys haven't seen those, I'll link them up above. But essentially, retinol is a vitamin A topical. This is an ingredient that's already present in the skin and studies have shown when applied topically can be very effective at reducing signs of aging, healing acne, and also resurfacing the texture of the skin. There's a bit of a curve when it comes to using retinol for the first time because there's a number of side effects that you can experience. This is dry skin, irritation, and even purging so pimples that develop on your skin, whiteheads, and blackheads. What retinol actually does is it helps to accelerate the natural process of skin cell turnover. Our skin goes through this process when we're younger, it's about 14 days in your teens, 28 days in your adulthood, and it gets a bit longer when you're, you know, a bit older as well. And this is where those fine lines start showing. So by using an ingredient that's going to supercharge that turnover rate, it's going to help to get rid of any lingering damage on your skin and bring that new skin to the surface because your skin is always producing new cells. We just want to see them. Let's talk about some products. So if you're first getting into retinol, it can be a little daunting because retinol can be very, very strong and cause a lot of irritation. But there is good news. There are tons of retinol products on the market that help you ease your way into retinol without those super crazy side effects. One of the very first retinols that I've ever tried was the Retinol Complex Serum from Naturium. I no longer have this product, but I really did love as I used it. This one comes in two forms, either a cream or a serum. I did try the serum when I used it, and I really found that the formulation of this product was super gentle for beginners. This serum was made with encapsulated retinol. This helps with the time release of the product, so not all of it gets released at the same time, which helps to minimize that irritation. You'll find a lot of new retinols have this encapsulated uh, technology. But this one was made with a bio-retinol, Bakuchi oil, plant-derived retinol alternative as well, and this is a really nice vehicle of getting a gentle form of retinol on your skin, where you're using a little bit of retinol and a little bit of an alternative. And I really found that that blend worked really well. If you're someone who's a little scared about trying retinol, I would recommend this one for you. It retails for $21. I'm on the Canadian website and it says 21. So um, there's that. This one was a really, really good one to try for beginners. Another great beginner friendly retinol is the new one from Coco Kind. This is their beginner retinol gel with 0.1% retinoid complex. This one is infused with aloe vera and a Sika complex, which helps to really soothe your skin. So one thing I really love about this is it doesn't dry your skin. I did not experience any type of irritation. I used it daily for, I'm still using it now, but at the time I used it daily for five days and that's how I saw my skin. I really do enjoy, this one also has, um, I really do enjoy, once again, the complex that is in here. It's not just one type of retinol, it's a few different ones, and a bunch of soothing ingredients, including squalane, which is really, really good for acne prone skin. The combination of aloe vera, sika, and squalane is gonna help prevent redness, it's gonna soothe your pimples, it's also going to help to rebuild and protect your barrier, just in case, so that this doesn't irritate your skin at all. I really, really do recommend this for anyone who's looking for something a little bit stronger than the one from Notorium, but still a beginner friendly one. Next, let's talk about products for those with acne prone skin. As you guys know, I have combination acne prone skin. So for the majority of my acne journey, I've been focusing on retinols that are really good for acne, not necessarily aging. And this is where these two come into play. When you talk about retinol, it's not just one type of retinol. There is a spectrum under retinoids. It's an umbrella term. And so one of the higher versions of retinol that studies have shown has been very effective for acne is called adapalene. The two most popular forms of adapalene come from Differin and the other is from La Roche-Posay. I've used both of these for about a year each respectively. The thing about the formulation when it comes to adapalene or the way that they create it for acne prone skin is that it just has a really nice vehicle that is really good for those who have combination or oily skin. 
skin. That's what I would say Adapalene would be mostly for. Now, because it doesn't have a lot of the other moisturizing ingredients, it's a very simple complex that they create with these Adapalenes. It can be slightly drying on your skin, so you definitely wanna use a really good moisturizer when you're using this. And this is why I say it would probably be better suited to those with combination of oily skin versus someone with dry skin. If you have dry skin, you may like this Coco Kind more because it has more of those moisturizing ingredients. I didn't really find very much of a difference between these products and looking online at their ingredient list, they're pretty much the same. They're both a 0.1% gel and all of the other ingredients in here are pretty much like they're identical. Um, the only difference is of course the price. The one from Differin, I've seen it retail for about $20 to $24 and the one from Adapalene is about $30 to $35. Now please note that you're getting much more product with the La Roche Posay than you're getting with the Adapalene so there's that as well but they're very 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 similar products. So whichever one that you go for you're going to be getting the exact same thing. So if you are someone who's a little bit more used to retinol, you have dry mature skin, mature ring skin and you really want something that's not going to give a lot of side effects, something that really focuses on the complex of the product, then I would suggest picking up the one from Biotherm. This one is a little bit more pricey. Actually, it's a lot more pricey than the other products that I've talked about with this cream being a hundred dollars. Like, honestly though, this is my second bottle of both of these. My mom has used these as well. I do think that they are worth it if that's what you're looking for. So if you have more mature skin, I would definitely say that this would be an option for you. The reason why this is so unique is because it has blue pro retinol, which basically replaces blue therapy. It's also made with niacinamide, which as you know, is one of my very favorite ingredients like ever. Um, it's also made with niacinamide, which as you guys know, is one of my absolute favorite ingredients like ever. But I find with niacinamide, once again, I like it more in products than I like the niacinamide by itself. For some people, it can be a bit stinging and I've noticed that it just, I don't know, for some reason, it's just not the same anymore while I'm using it on my face. The formulation is just amazing to me. It is pricey once again, and there is actually fragrance in here as well. So if you're someone who doesn't really like fragrance, maybe not the one for you, but if you're looking for something that gives you that luxury feel, they also come with an eye cream if you are someone who wants to have products from the entire line which I I kind of went back and forth kind of debating whether it's worth getting an entire line or just a single product and my conclusion is that it depends on the product I think that when you have a line of products they're made to function well together I also think that eye creams are just a little bit unnecessary but there's a lot of people who have darkness around their eyes or just around their eyes are really really extreme and sometimes if you're using more of the stronger retinols it may be too irritating around there so it is worth looking into a um an actual set Let's get back to the affordable bunch. Naturium also has a couple of other retinol products for those who are a little bit more experienced and you want something a little bit more, um, like their retinaldehyde. This is the highest form of retinol, I believe. Retinaldehyde is the highest form. Um, they come in a cream serum. This is a 0.05 gel. It's an emulsion that is, once again, formulation is everything. This one only retails for $29 and it has um, that time release of retinol, ret Tenaldehyde um, that helps to make sure that everything's not coming at once, it's coming over time. So although this is quite potent and really, really strong, it's not gonna irritate your skin. And it also is a little bit more um, moisturizing. If your concern isn't necessarily acne per se, and you're more concerned about preventing as well as getting rid of fine lines on your skin, and you're someone who's used to using retinol in general, then I would suggest getting something like this. They also come in a stronger version. This is the 0.1% retinaldehyde serum. Now you don't really need a very high percentage of retinoid. Um, I typically like to go up and then come back down. Sometimes when I'm using my other retinol products and even products in general, you find that if you use them for too long, they don't work. So. I don't know. Whenever I find my retinol doesn't really work, I go up to the retinaldehyde for like a week or so and then come back down. And that's because retinol does make your skin really sensitizing. And honestly, you don't really need a high percentage for it to work on your skin. You just need something consistent. But once again, if you find that your products after a while doesn't really work, try switching and then coming back to it. And that's why I would use something like this. Last but not least, we have the tried and true retinol. This one is from ROC. I'm sure you've seen like your mom use these at some point in time. Um, this is the clinically proven uh, deep wrinkle night cream. And I've actually been using this it's quite strong but once again it does have those really good ingredients it has um 
both gentle and hydrating ingredients it's the complex that's in here that really works this has a really good formulation as well including dimethicone so it's going to smooth out your skin a little bit it has squalane in here which is one of my favorite moisturizing ingredients for those with acne prone skin it has shea butter glycolic acid ascorbic acid squalane like i said um as well as glycerin lots of hydrating ingredients so it's it's a complex that you're looking for this is a trick that i learned from a skin expert he was talking about how to see the best results out of your retinol and what was recommended is to use your retinol so it doesn't have to be the highest one in the world use your retinol and then go in with you could use the same retinol or a stronger one and put it on those areas that need a little bit more lifting so as we age this area around our eyes kind of sinks down and then everything just goes down so if you build up collagen over here it's going to help to make sure that you don't get that sagging so what i do is i use a more gentle retinol and then i'll put this one specifically on those lines so i have some lines developing here over my eyebrows because I'm so expressive with my facial movements obviously my smile lines because I talk so damn much and around my eyes as well so I just kind of put a little extra in those areas and I find that really does help like this line over here it's not as strong and you can even barely see it sometimes I know that when my skin is really really dry I can see the line more but this has truly helped me right now i'm specifically using retinol for texture as well as aging of the skin since i don't really break out very much anymore probably because of retinol as well but here is what it looks like when you use retinol consistently as someone with textured skin dark marks and of course someone who has um, some cystic acne scarring so that's the end of the video i hope you guys really enjoyed it and got something from it leave a comment down below and let me know are you using retinol will you be using retinol or your favorite ones that you are currently using right now i would love to hear your thoughts click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always stay gorgeous stay fabulous and i'll see you lovelies and gents in the next video bye